Good morning children. I welcome you all to this session of maths. We are on to the chapter perimeter and area. Now see children, perimeter is a sum total of the boundary which is there. Now observe the following curves. Right? A curve which ends where it begins is called a closed curve. Right? It is called a closed curve. Now see in this triangle, now let us suppose that this triangle begins from this point and then it travels here, then here, and then it is back here, right? So it returns back to the same point from where it began. So this is called a closed curve, right? And the sum of the sides, the length of the sides will be the perimeter, right? All the curves above are closed curves. The length of the outline or the boundary of a closed plane is a curve is called the perimeter. In this triangle, what I have just said is substantiated here also. You can see in the yellow triangle, the three sides are small a, small b, and small c. Right? The sides are a, b, b, c, and c, c, a. Right? And if we add the length a plus b plus c, we get the perimeter. Right? Add this, uh, see this example here. The length of the sides are 12, 13, and 14, and so the perimeter is a sum total of them, and which is 39. Quadrilateral is a four-sided figure, so its area will be the sum of all the four sides, right? The perimeter will be the sum of all the four sides. See, 14, 12, 10, and 9 centimeter are the sides, so the perimeter is 45 centimeter. Now, for a square, in a square, the four sides are equal, so the perimeter will be 4 into the length of a side. Because there is no point in writing all the four sides and then doing plus. Simply 4 into side, right? So if the side is 3 cm, just multiply it by 4, 4 threes are 12. For an rectangle, the opposite sides are equal, so the perimeter, the formula has to be twice length plus breadth. Right? If the length is 9 cm and 11 cm, 2 into 9 plus 11. See this one. And 9 plus 11 is 20, so 2 into 20, which is 40 cm. For irregular shapes, you will have to add all the sides to get the perimeter. Right? See in this diagram here, you will have to add all the sides, see, which has been clearly illustrated here. And the perimeter turns out to be 26.3 meter. Now let us do some questions here. Perimeter of the following shapes. Let us do the B part, which is a quadrilateral with sides 11, 12, 14, and 16. So we'll be writing it like this. The perimeter will be 11 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16, which will be equal to 53 centimeter. Now, for a rectangle, it is 14 and 10 meters respectively, find its perimeter. So here the P will be 2 into bracket L plus B. So it is 2 into bracket 14 plus 10 which will be 2 into 24. So this will be how much? You all know it will be 48 centimeters, right? This is how perimeter is calculated. Cost of fencing a rectangular garden, we will find the perimeter and then we will multiply it with the rate, which is 400 per meter. So the perimeter comes out to be twice of L plus B. L plus B is 80, twice 160, and 160 into 400, which will be how much? 64000. Right? Now, for a square of 25 meters, the P will be 4 into side. 4 into 25. So, which is equal to 100 m, 100 meter, right? And this is how you will be doing this exercise. Now, there are some irregular figures. You just keep on adding the sides to get the Next, we come to the area. All above are the closed figures and each occupies some region on the flat surface on which it lies, right? 
they occupy some region on the flat surface on which they lie the measure of this surface enclosed by a closed figure is called its area the area is measured in square units so area of a square is side into side right side into side rectangle l into b right we multiply length and breadth to get the area the area of the given figure is 92373 now just see how it is done we divide this into 1 2 and 3 part three rectangles and then we add we add their areas and because there are three rectangles and we uh, calculate their areas and then add them up so let us do some questions in 14.2 the length of sides of square find its area let us do this meter so 10 meter will be much the area will be 10 into 10 is equal to 100 side into side is equal to 100 meter square right a hall is this one see children a hall hall is 30 cm long and 20 cm broad find the area of the floor area of rectangle is l into b so that how much 30 into so we will be getting how much 600 meter square as the area right now find the area of the given figure this is an irregular figure so we will be firstly dividing it into three sub parts either horizontally or vertically horizontally we will get these three right and going vertically we will get these three right this will be the first, this one will be the second this one will be the third and then we add their areas right this is how we need to do this so i stop here i hope you enjoyed as much as i did and until we meet again it's a goodbye